punch. Beautiful. All right, so we're in game. Welcome to game one, Masters of Mega Random here. Tim V. Mentalist. What are we seeing right off the bat? We're seeing a Dark Age start, which is interesting. I must have, uh, uh, maybe I mistyped the rules there. Tim is Mayans, Mentalist as Spanish. Okay, it is Castle Age. Sorry, my uh, spectator overlay just needed a second to catch up. Uh, yeah, so we will see Tim as Mayans, Mentalist as Spanish. I'll quickly introduce the map, and then I'll throw it to you, Milmano. Uh, one thing I noticed right off the bat is that there is water all the way around the map, but it's kind of wimpy, crappy water with not a whole lot of fish. Uh, there's, a, so there's some shore fish, which could be interesting to use early in the game, but there is no real deep water fish, not very many. So we'll see if either player chooses to dock. The other thing obvious right off the bat is that we're seeing the hunting wolf uh, walking around the map doing some scouting, and we're seeing very, very small amounts of gold here. Uh, Milmano, what do you notice right off the bat here? We have hunting wolves! That's they're so much fun, honestly. Uh, I'm not too sure how effective it's going to be. What is noticeable, though, if we're going to... Uh, in all seriousness, is Tim's taking some nice deer already. Look at that. Just got uh, one deer underneath there already. And these mains, I mean... That eco is just ridiculous. So that's, and also, he has the barracks already down to like both of them do. But because he's mains, he does have the access technically to the eagle. Like, obviously, not that great, but you know, not too, not yeah, too bad. Not too shabby, um, right? Yeah, not too shabby. That's my favorite. <laughs> not too shabby. <laughs> Uh, I've seen this map before, in all honesty. I think I saw it. I don't want to say it. I thought it was Clash of Titans. It might have been something else. I have seen this map before. I think I think it's Clash of Titans. I remember. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, oh I don't. I don't want to say it. I think it was Clash of Titans, maybe. Uh... But anyway, it's it's a really cool map because you have like this sort of you're in your own little crater, but there's a big hill in between both of you two. So really, this is all about I think positioning and map control for sure. You have to dominate this front section of the hill. Going aggressive, going for a forward would be probably really good here. But again, this is a castle age start, so I, I, I honestly don't know what to expect to, or awfully too much. I mean, the Spanish could probably go maybe stable and maybe get like a knight or something. Oh, wolf wolf. Yeah, a little bit of a wolf fight. Those wolves do regenerate, if I remember correctly. Look at that, though. Uh, that is... Is that Tim's wolf or Mentalist wolf? Tim just lamed one of his own deer, from what I saw there. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he, did. he just lamed one of his own deer. It must have been a misclick, but uh, Mentalist should probably lame Tim's deer here if he has a chance. Those wolves do regenerate, and they do pack quite a oh, punch. Oh, Yes. Yes. Let's see. Oh, did you hear a re? Oh, okay. This is yeah, actually an incredibly smart re for Mentalist. Uh, that was yeah, a horrible I, I, I would not favor... Mentalist had a that huge, matchup I would not favor at all. huge disadvantage, and he had to build a mill to take his deer where he knew Tim did not have to build a mill. So I think that's a fantastic re. Uh, so we yeah, will. He was three levels behind. Yeah, we'll update the re numbers and all the numbers as we go. Uh, it's important to maybe, maybe it's important to remember that there are now two re's since this is a best of five. Uh, so we will see Mentalist lose one re, but that's absolutely the right call on his part. That would have been a terrible, terrible situation for him to try to dig himself out of. Like you said, potentially seeing early eagles, uh, potentially seeing early aggression, having to build a mill, and just having, yeah, just not having the map that Tim had or the Civ. I think he was in trouble. But, um, yeah, there you guys, there you go, guys. Quick game one. Let me catch up with the chat real quick. Chat went a little crazy there for a second, and I missed everything. Everybody was pumped about hunting wolves. You should update your spectator overlay. Pumped. Oh, I'll definitely, I'll, I'll check that out, Strix. Thanks for the tips. Smarthy, can you... Do a wolf lure with a hunting wolf. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think you can. I think that's how he got the first deer in. But it's really tricky because uh, the way it works, because one, you, as you clearly saw, he actually lamed his own deer, unfortunately. But also, because you click on it, you, you, you want to try and click close to it so you can move it, basically. So if you make one misstep with that click on your mouse, you'll kill the wolf because the hunting wolf will just go straight to it like very quickly. Like the the rush the rush it does like when you when it when it auto targets something that speed it gets is just ridiculous. Yeah. So you have to be really careful because if you make that misclick, there's very little chance that you'll that you will um uh like not be punished for it. That, that's the thing. Yeah. CJ in the chat was saying the same thing. Yeah, that makes sense. The wolf is um a wolf cannot run faster than when it's chasing prey. Right. That's a real thing. Um, anyway, one minute and 30 seconds, we'll be back into the spectator delay. Oh, Definitely a yeah. good re there, right, Milmano? You're with me on that, right? Hmm? You like that re? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's already three bulls behind to begin with, and I had to build a mill, like you said. That's 100 wood already lost for one just for a start. 
Um, but it, it, yeah, it was. I'm not even sure the matchup would have been that great for him. Mayan versus Spanish too. I I think Spanish can do a lot more in that castle age, like in this scenario in Mass Mega Random than Mayans. I think. Sorry, uh, Mayans can do more than Spanish. My bad. Mayans can do more than Spanish. There we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna do it again. Game one, this is a the second game one since we had a rehear in the first one. We will see Tim in blue as Chinese, Mentalist in red as Aztecs. This is Masters of Mega Random semifinals. This is a best of five. Game one, so we will have the Castle Age start here. We will see the map uh, generation will, will be uh, very, very heavy. Two huge, heavy wood lines uh, with a massive lake in the center that segregates the two players from one another. No bridge across that troubled water. Uh, quite a few boars, quite a bit of food on this map. A decent amount of gold, at least compared to the game that we just saw the re of. At least each player has one main gold pile. Uh, but after that, it is actually GG gold. I don't see... Uh, I think the relics are pretty fairly distributed here. So the gold... Uh, yeah, the gold's going to be an issue, I suppose. Certainly going to have plenty of wood. Uh, is going to have... Uh, both players are going to have plenty of food. There is a bit of stone, not a ton. Uh, and right now, we will wait for a pause. What do you see, Milmano? What's what's catching your eye here? This is like Michi, but like a big water divide. Uh, oh boy. Okay, Mentalist. Okay, all right. Um, he can still challenge for the water, but he can't do it late game. Like he he has to dominate the water in this Castle Age period to like the Imperial, and then land, of course, on on Tim's Island. Mm -hmm. He can't give it up because he doesn't get galleons or like that. You know, it's it, it's like War Galley plus three. I mean, just going to get absolutely demolished. Tim will always have cannon galleons at his disposable, so just sit him on the waterline. Uh, the good thing for Mentis at the same time is that uh, they both got two relics, but he's got Aztec bonus, which is like, you know, that 33%. So technically, you would have, like, what, three relics in the way in comparison to Tim. Right. But you would just have them, like, in terms of relic gold numbers, uh, like, if you theorize. Um, also, the other good thing for Mentis, too, is that Aztec eco is pretty good. <laughs> Again, something not to, no, nothing to scoff at either. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I, I think Mentis has it's got. It's kind of weird. It's like, I, I, I call these things like windows, like like like, like a window for him to, to operate in, and he kind of does have a window to win this, because I feel like the China Imperial is just really really good. Mm. It's got all like I mean it's not to make, I mean Aztec has SO, but it's not that big of a factor. I don't think this as much, especially. When there's such little gold in this game, there will, there will be. I, I so Mentis has got to make this game work, basically. That's I think to your point, um, one player, uh, both players do need to control the water in order to get a landing. Because if you think about this map, the way that the wood lines uh, abut the shoreline, just a couple of quick uh, stone walling there, and you're going to have basically a whole trapped army. Like, you couldn't start to build up a forward on the right side or on the left side. Mm. If you're going to land and drop some buildings, you're going to have to do it right in the dead center, and that's going to be right against your opponent's navy and army. So you do need to actually win this game uh, on water in order to uh, oh, take over the land. Yeah. Thanks for the follows, yep. Million and Zan. Uh, appreciate it, guys. Glad you're here with us. Uh, let's see. They can check the dip diplomacy set tab. What are you guys thinking? Players don't know which of their enemy is. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. So the chat is just talking it over. And um, yeah, we just see both players pushing some deer here. Nothing too crazy about this map generation except for the incredibly egregious amount of wood here in the on the sides. Uh, we do see that Mentalist is up with a dock a little bit before Tim. Uh, and we'll see. I think uh, the Feudal Age, as you said, getting... Or, I'm sorry, we're already in Castle. Getting those ships out uh, early on and taking over water is going to be incredibly important. But right off the bat, we will see a fishing ship here for Mentalist. We'll see what Tim queues up as well. But, yeah, we're going to see a water battle here. You have to control the water in this game. At least that's what I would anticipate. Yeah. Uh, don't the other see thing any I other way. Really mention, sorry, I didn't really touch on is that... It's quite close to water, and we didn't talk about fast fire ships here from Mensas. He could mm -hmm. use those as a potential, uh, like, you know, instead of using, of course, war guys, which you can't do. And it is quite close to water, so again, Tim couldn't really run, like, you know, just run away and then try and remass up and then look for an engagement. So, yeah, so... not all lost in the water, but going fast fire ships alone is. I don't, I don't feel like a good game. This is a plan. weird start, though. You see, Tim has his fire ship out. He's going to take over water for now. Mentalist already has a transport out. That's um, that's very interesting. And he actually, unfortunately for him, popped it out uh, right in front of the fire ship. 
So uh, we I... would. He's going to get some scouting in, I think. I think he's at least going to get some scouting in. Yeah, it looks like he's going to send one villager with that ship as well. Two villagers. Um, so he is going to okay. get very, very aggressive here early. What Mentalist has done is he scouted his side really well. He, I think he, well, fairly well. He knows what this map is, and it's um, he knows about these weird little channels on the side. So maybe he's going to head and transport right away. Mm -hmm. Very odd, but a very early transport. Uh, Mentalist is not GG water. I wouldn't say that, but he's way, way behind on water right now. He'd be fighting 1v2 on fire ships there, and that is not going to be a good fight for him, but he's probably happy to distract his opponent while he transports a couple vills across. Those vills and that eagle warrior will be headed straight toward this, what will soon be a TC from Tim. Tim's up on two TCs very early here. He's going to have a very nice economy, uh, but Mentalist is going to make a play. His eagle is not very shy. It's going to run right in front of the buildings of Tim. Uh, let's look at this from Tim's point of view because Mentalist probably should be hiding those villagers a little bit more. I guess he doesn't really have a chance to. Those villagers are oh, going to quick nice wall themselves balls. in. Very nice play from uh, from Mentalist. He's going to drop a monastery and he's going to go for it. This is pedal to the metal. Uh, quick walling in as well uh, from Tim. He's going to wall in all <laughs> the sides sure that he can. That's a, that's a great strat. I mean, that's the, that's the perfect response. The guy's walled himself in. So what do you wow. do? Just send I six gold. It's so <laughs> worth it. it. There's nothing, especially when you lost your scout too. Yeah, and he's gonna have to fail it. There's no way you can. Well, the monastery's up, but yeah, it's going to be walled in. There's going to be some monks in there, I suppose, but they're going to be trapped very soon. One last palisade here has not been uh, has not been started to be constructed. Mentalist is in a lot of trouble here, and it's too late for him to use a re at this point. Has lost a villager. Um, does he have his transport ship still? He does. His transport's still alive. It's on the other side of the map, and it is currently garrisoned with a eagle and another one coming. So Mentalist is still all in, even though he's he's in a tough spot, but he's all in. Uh, he will build a monk or two in that what? center area. What's up? He just got a conversion in less than two seconds. I have I have never seen RNG like that before. <laughs> like honestly, I you know it does you know you know wanding for like that was like five. You just did it in two. So I mean, uh, so that's why RNG being random num number generator. Like come on, like what the hell. Yeah, quick tower there from Tim. That's going to be able to put any pressure on any monks here that are in play. The scout's going to run in and pick that monk anyway. So it's yeah. pretty much GG to Mentalist forward, at least for now. Uh, he is going to transport a few Eagle Warriors across, but this is going from bad to worse. He's going to lose two more vills here. Uh, in uh, He's going to lose at least one, maybe two more vills here. Uh, let's see. Might the, be okay. That one might live, actually. Yeah, the, she the might scout's too weak HP. Should, yeah, it's fine. She may uh, make it, but uh, Tim here is in a commanding position. He's certainly in great shape, up by six fills. Uh, really, look at this. Now he's going to wall across that one little pinch point. Tim's playing very beautifully. How fast he's walling is amazing. He did wall one of his villagers out, which is a bummer, but, yeah. you know, it's all yeah, good. He'll delete it and go back through or build a gate or something. Yeah, I like... I don't know where I, I assess this. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know where I... I... Yeah, Tim's come out on top, I, for sure. I mean, he's six fills ahead. He's got four fish out, fish attacks, for sure. He did delay like a lot. I mean, like that's like six, seven bills going out, building a tower, trying to deal with all this. I, I still think, yeah, Tim took a lot out of that. Still, it wasn't for the water, like the water advantage she got, and I would be thinking otherwise. It's those weird things. Oh, uh, that was I was just the wrong play for Mensus. And to touch on that, it's it, if you do it Ooh. like in a normal standard game from Dark Age. To Look at whatever, this, Romano. The transport's going to get eaten up by the fire ships by oh. Tim. Uh, oh yeah, it's and that villager uh, would go out. down as well. Okay, sorry, I'm sorry, I, sorry to interrupt you. What were you saying? No, it's fine. It's just that in Dark Age and everything, the standard game and so on, you don't have that the town watch research generally in Feudal Age. Obviously, you do it at some point, but uh, of course, when you're starting in Castle Age, you already have that researched. So when he lands on on the front, he easily saw it with the TC vision from his from from it, like just before. So he knew exactly what was coming his way. It was just crazy. Like that was maybe a slight. Like, uh, yeah, that was not the greatest. That one through. Yeah, that was not the greatest choice tactically. But one thing that Menzelis does have going for him now is he's got some monks on land that can put pressure on some of those ships. He did lose his dock, but he will be building another here very shortly. The transport is going to continue to transport monks across, or it's going to try to. Villagers and monks, I suppose, are in play. Uh, and we'll see what he can get done. I mean, he has to. Ooh, quick delete there from Tim, deleting his ship before it could be converted. 
We'll see what Mentalist can get done here. He's playing from way, way behind, but I suppose that means he's playing on house money. Uh, he should definitely lose this game, but um, maybe he can pull it out of the fire somehow. One interesting thing to do at some point in this match, if he sees an opening, would be to go across and grab the relics of his opponent. Uh, that would be very useful for him to deny a little bit of gold to Tim because Tim is going to outboom him. Tim's going to outplay him. The only way I see that uh, Mentalist can win this is with a wonder victory. That's my, that's my only thing that's on my mind. Uh, and I don't know if he's going to be able to live that long, but I feel like that's his only... I don't see him winning back water, not anytime soon. Uh, and I don't, I just don't see it happening here. But we'll see. That's why we watch the game. Uh, Mentalist still feels like he has a shot, so he's going to keep playing. More war galleys and fire ships coming out now for Tim. And Mentalist just with really a transport. He's just slowly transporting across. Uh, yep, there he is, transporting across a monk with a relic. That will that's allow really him to build up some gold. Mentalist. Yeah, uh, that's going to give him a huge advantage over Tim because there isn't a ton of gold on this map. And obviously, like you said, we have that extra relic gold. Relic victory, says Robo. Is that possible in this? Yes, it is possible in oh. the standard. He can win by the relics, which is nice. It still is going to be a really hard task for the mentalist, personally, because he's already 20 bills behind, hasn't got a second or third TC up yet. I think he might just go for a, for a fast Imperial, maybe, I think, with this. Yeah, he's going to go for a fast Imperial which is the next best thing to do. The one crazy thing here that's that Mentalist uh, unfortunately didn't do is people are asking in the chat, he did not quite scout that last relic from Tim. So he does not know where one of the relics is on the map. He knows where all the others are and he will grab them, but he's gonna have to get lucky or uh, have some serendipity on his side, I suppose, in order to get that last relic. Yeah, that relic by the dock is in a tough spot anyway, but Mentalist doesn't even know it's there. He's going to lose his dock uh, again. He may lose this transport ship, which be, would be the beginning of the end of his chance of a relic victory. But I think he's going for wonder victory here. That's my that's my personal opinion. You can see his resources are getting up quite high. He's already starting to wall himself in. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, if he can find that relic and grab it, obviously that would be... I don't think we've seen a relic victory in this series. That would be pretty epic. But the transport ship is now dead. Uh, does a relic and a ship and a sinking ship spawn on the closest land? Ooh, that's a great question. I have yeah, no idea. Yeah, that's true. I think it is. I think someone did a test on that. I think it sort of does. Uh, it hasn't fully walled that front section off. I think that's because he's going to get the monk to pick up the relic and then go back with it. But look, at him sort of things the war guys down the bottom. I think he saw the monk, or he might be thinking an extra set of doctor coming up. But either way, those monks are as good as dead. They are. If he, although <laughs> that's actually quite nice. I'll just convert them instead. Yeah, Mentalist is um he's making a play here. He's going to Imperial Age. He's gonna he's going to have the, the relic advantage, but he's not gonna have all the relics. We can see Tim is grabbing one right now. He will drop that into his monastery, and I just don't see any way that Mentalist will be able to uh, knock down that monastery and grab that relic. So if uh, if Mentalist has a chance here, it's to go to Imperial and maybe mass up some monks, maybe wonder victory. I don't know. We'll see what he decides to do. He will not convert a ship there. He will not get that relic for now. So for the moment, Tim will deny him of that relic. Tim's playing a really clean game here, don't you think? Oh, yeah. He's, he's played really well. He's read it well. Exactly everything responded very well. To, like, look at that. Look at the uptimes, boys. Like a minute or off. Mm -hmm. So I, I think, yeah, it's pretty... Mentalist might try and go for a Wanda victory, which I'm... Ooh. Was it? I think it's. A, you don't need food for it. You need wood. You need like wood, a thousand yeah. wood, thousand gold, thousand stone. You hit. He hasn't got enough wood. He's been building monasteries with it instead. So, latent monks, and that's okay. I guess he probably gets the um, theocracy and will get the what's the other one? The um, plus three range. I think it's not illumination. It's. Mentalist, oh, what is up with me today? Mentalist this, sending I, I, I uh, sending four monks over to grab that last relic. He is committed to oh. grabbing it. So. Um, quick note from Agavian saying uh, that Mentalist should transport across a couple petards and a monk in a transport ship and grab it. I like that. That's funny. That would be pretty epic. Um, but yeah, yeah. I, what you're saying is he's upgrading his monks and he's getting that extra monk bonus. And he's he's going to try to hold this. You can see he's already double walling. Um, he's going to wall in his area pretty tightly. He's going to have nearly a thousand stone but does not have the gold or the wood quite yet to build a wonder if he so chooses you will have that last relic so what uh what upgrades have you seen block printing is now coming in is that what you were thinking that's, of yeah that the block printing is a plus three range plus illumination okay so 
you're gonna try if, if he's gonna go for his wonder victory right he's gonna go for a wonder victory and also making a unit that costs a hundred gold each on top of the extra gold heavy intensive gold upgrades that he's getting so you, you, what you're about to try and do is sell the stone and then use that to try and get this wonder victory essentially or tim just build it first like that's what that's just, yeah, that's the perfect response. I was about to say this earlier on, like, if you've got full water control, and he will have full water control this entire game, I can't see Mentos taking it back. Yeah, so Tim is learning from the mistakes of others. I won't ruin any recent games, but Tim is, he's anticipating that his opponent is turtling up, he's monking up, he is uh, walling himself in, and therefore, as we probably predicted a little while ago, it's probably going to be a wonder build for Mentalist. Uh, Tim is just going to build his first. He's going to have his wonder up first, and I think this is really it for Mentalist. I don't see any way that he can... I don't see any strategy that gets him back in this game. Maybe if he converts a whole mess of ships and gets crazy with it, but um, he can see Tim is building a, a wonder. Uh, he has to... I don't know. Yeah, I guess he he's, calls GG. Did he, did he call it? It would be a waste of time. Oh, there's the GG. Yeah, so actually a perfectly played clean game from Tim. Mentalist uh, went for a little bit of early aggression. You know, he did have a minor, he he has a minor disadvantage here in the long game. We were thinking he needed to be aggressive. He got super, super aggressive, much more aggressive than maybe we expected. It unfortunately didn't pay off because his monastery got walled in. Uh, in the end, he was turtling up and saving up for a wonder, but did not get there in time. Tim beat him to it. So there you have it, guys. Game one goes to Tim.